coach or not. Mm. But then I wasn't even there when it happened. That's the bit anybody seems to, people seem to struggle with, you know, because I'm convicted now. Mm. Um, but I'm off on the tape line, you think that's tough, dogs. What can I do? Mm. I'm convicted now. I'm convicted now, I'm convicted of torture, right? People blame the car on an arson, is that right? It started with an arson, it did, mm. in James Street. Mm. That's where the trouble started. Mm. With a pedal around the house. Mm. And there was a little girl got burnt. Mm. And I sent message along with them, telling them about the order. And then I seen them a couple of weeks later. Uh, they come to my pub as it happens. They were drinking with their dad, I knew the fella. And I tell them I was scared, I was just letting them know, just make sure it didn't happen again. And they took the home, you know, and that's where it started. So, what you, you say, when you, you weren't even there in the, at all? They were tortured, no. They were out there, but it. Didn't ask anybody to torture him. Wasn't planned to torture him. Uh, never mentioned torturing him. They just got done. So all this stuff about the, the flyers and the moving and the teeth. That did happen. That did happen. Just I wasn't there. Talk us through the start, some sort of things that night and what happened there. With the um, torture. I went and looked, I was looking for a fella called Neidman that day. Um, I was on the way, way along the Neidman's house and the vehicle, it was five way. When we were passing the M.A. Brothers on the way to Neidman's house, blew myself shooting, there's Collier, there's Collier. Well, I'd already heard twice before that he'd been a driver of the van. And he'd been, he'd been in, and enough, someone else had told us um, that he'd been in a blue man pub a couple of days before, shotgun that. Same when he was going to be next with the group with the bodies this time. So, uh, but I was just, I was going to get him. I just wasn't looking for him this day because he was just the idiot with all of them, I thought. And it was just as we passed and got along as a road, we just passed and seen him. So, shotgun all grabbed the mood. I'm just telling him about Lane, I'm just going to bash him about make him tell me everything. That's all I did. And he did tell us everything. But after he's done it, he's telling us something I didn't know. He said he'd been offered 5,000 quid for 3,000 quid to dig the bodies up next. And my father's great and they were going to chop the heads off and all sorts of. That's what those. He'd been offered a gift. He said he wasn't going to date, but he'd been offered to be paid to do that by the other ones that I was looking for that day. And that's what I thought, yeah. I think I'd put that yeah. This ain't happening. I would have killed him now, like, dear, like, listen. And that's when I just fought right. So he said, there's a thing I wanted and I wasn't touching him anymore. And that's when I went to get my brother and I left him a glover. That's mm. so when I've come back, they, they've done that. So, wait, am I guilty or am I not guilty? I don't know. When you saw that, the scene saw what happened, you must have been shot by yourself as well. But as it happened, this is what happened. I went in the flat. And he was sat in the corner of the room and he was tied up. His hands were tied. I'm looking at him and one of them I'd left him with Glover's mate come over as he went and now he's in a full three of his team but <laughs> I've looked at Collier in the corner and he's went Polly I'll tell you anything I'll tell you what I already knew that because he was telling us everything before I left you know what I mean but I couldn't see any beef missing you know I thought I was just saying it you know, yeah but I wasn't sure I was concerned I thought I've just dropped it Shopping bro, do you like you know what I mean? I've got a mask on, everybody knows this. And you see, see, he's pulling his foot. So I've, uh, I've got only him. I've sent for somebody right off the next block, I want to, so I, I, just to watch him. I said, I've got him alive. I said, watch him for two seconds. I didn't, and I took him with the flat. I got him away, I'm coming out, I went, what are you done? I said, he pulled his foot. I got him in the motor. And he knew he was getting round for it then. He just went, oh, I just put the pliers on his teeth and it crumbled. Oh, f***ing I've sent him to the flat with him in the motor. I turn around and there's a police car driving past here in the car back. Concerned all this and just one thing led to another, you know.